I've now added my two signals to my block definition diagram. Uh, but as I mentioned, there's nothing at the moment which ties these two things together, although they've, they're given similar names, so a human being might recognise it. There's nothing in, within the model um, which would allow these two things to be linked together. Um, so, uh, in order to do that, I'm going to add something to the uh, microwave emitter block, which uh, specifically is set up to receive these signals. Now, you should differentiate between the interface, the flow port, that's the thing it comes in from, from uh, the operation, if you like, the lump of functionality, the service, whatever you'd like to call it, which actually responds to that uh, signal once it has arrived. And that thing is called a reception, and so I'm going to add one of those to my microwave emitter block. So this is the uh, operation, the reception, which responds to the emitter on signal. But again, notice as yet, they're not actually tied together. Um, uh, it, notice it has a type, it's, it's stereotyped as a signal, but there's nothing which links these two things together at the moment. So actually what I want to do is make sure that this uh, reception here um, is lo linked to this signal, the SIG MW emitter on. And I can do that once that um, signal is uh, highlighted like this, once it's selected. Down in the U in the properties window down here under UML, notice that there is a signal. That's one that, um, and, and if you float over that, you notice it says um, the signal that which this reception handles. And I can um, edit that. I can push the selection button, navigate my way through the model. And lo and behold, at some point I find the specific signal I'm interested in. In this case, it's the um, signal for the switching the microwave emitter on. And I've now tied those two together. Um, notice that the outer block is now a little bit small to see that, so I may have to just broaden it. I know there's a lot of information here. You can now see um, each element of this. And this is a very rich description of what's going on. Up here we have the flow port, that is the interface over which it comes. The reception, which is the uh, represents the the input to the bit of functionality, means that it's the operation, and the type of thing which it receives is a mitron. So that's tying those things together in a formal manner. Um, the, the thing now to do is to um, create signals um, for each of the other uh, connectors that we have on this model and also tie those in with receptions on their blocks. So just winding forward slightly, um, I've now created the complete set of signals I'm going to need for this model. Um, these are the two you've seen already, the microwave emitter on and the microwave emitter off signal. Um, to this I've added signals for door open and door closed, which of course represent the case when the door opens and door closed. They send this signal which tells the timer that's the case. Um, signals to switch the lamp on and off. Sig lamp on and sig lamp off. Um, signals to um, turn the motor on and off. Sig motor on. Sig motor off. A signal which goes to the display unit to uh, show the time. And then four timers, sorry, four signals which um, either set the timer, um, start it counting down, uh, individual ticks, as a clock tick, which uh, decrements the timer by one, and a signal which stops the timer. So these are the complete set of signals, and each of those have to be set to corresponding um, receptions in the, in the blocks.